Sea of Death, by Jorge Amado, is a vibrant narrative set in the coastal town of Ilhias in Brazil, and it delves deeply into the intersection of personal and societal conflicts within a lush, tropical environment. The novel intricately explores themes of identity, power, and the relentless forces of nature that shape human lives and relationships. At its core, Sea of Death is a story about the clash between tradition and modernity, represented through the characters' struggles and the broader socio-economic shifts in the town. The setting itself is almost a character in the novel, its ever-present sea reflects the unpredictable and tumultuous nature of human desires and ambitions. The sea is both a source of livelihood and a harbinger of danger, embodying the duality of life in Ilhias. The protagonist, a local landowner, is emblematic of the entrenched traditionalism that resists the encroaching changes brought about by modernization. His life is intertwined with the rhythms of the sea and the land, and his fortunes are subject to the whims of both. This connection between land and sea serves as a metaphor for the broader struggle between the old ways and the new order that is emerging in the town. The narrative also weaves in elements of folklore and local mythology, enriching the story with a sense of mysticism and cultural depth. These elements not only ground the characters in their cultural context but also highlight the tensions between the mythical and the real, illustrating how personal beliefs and communal traditions influence individuals' lives and decisions. Amato's prose vividly captures the sensory experiences of the setting, the smell of the sea, the heat of the sun, and the vibrancy of the local culture. This sensory detail immerses the reader in the world of Ilhias, making the environment an integral part of the story's unfolding drama. The novel's rich, descriptive language evokes a strong sense of place, allowing readers to feel the pulse of the town and its people. The characters in Sea of Death are multifaceted and deeply human. They are driven by complex motivations, from personal ambition to love, and their interactions often reveal the underlying social and cultural tensions. The conflicts between the characters mirror the larger societal changes occurring in Ilhias, reflecting the broader struggle between progress and preservation. The theme of power and its consequences is central to the novel. The protagonist's attempts to maintain control over his land and his life are constantly challenged by external forces and internal dilemmas. This struggle for power is not just a personal battle but a reflection of the larger forces at play in the town, including economic changes and the clash between tradition and modernity. In addition to exploring these themes, Sea of Death also delves into issues of social justice and inequality. The disparities between the wealthy landowners and the impoverished workers are stark, and Amato does not shy away from highlighting the exploitation and injustice faced by those at the lower end of the social spectrum. Through the experiences of his characters, Amato critiques the social structures that perpetuate inequality and injustice. The novel's ending is both poignant and thought-provoking, offering a resolution that underscores the complexities of the human condition and the inexorable march of change. It reflects the novel's central message that life is a continuous ebb and flow, shaped by the forces of nature and the human spirit. Overall, Sea of Death is a compelling exploration of the interplay between human desires, societal changes, and the natural world. Amato's masterful storytelling and rich descriptive language bring to life a vibrant and multifaceted world, making the novel a significant contribution to Brazilian literature and a profound commentary on the nature of change and tradition.